Alpo scoring the basketball. He wins the tip. Starting lineups brought to you by Allegis Credit Union, Northwest Indiana's choice for personal financial services since 1966. Go Beacons. And you see Sheldon Edwards back in the starting lineup. Kobe King gets his first Alpo start as well. Here's Kithier. You know they'll try to get the ball inside. Edwards, he will stop and pop the three and knock it in. And boy, when Sheldon Edwards gets going early, look out. Yeah, and he's, his three-point shooting has really been good of late. Charlotte, outstanding backcourt. Jameer Young makes things happen. He wears number one. Here's Trapp wearing double zero. They got a really three-headed monster. Butler can really put the ball in the hoop. This is Young. Khalifa has the ability to shoot the three, but he's an outstanding passing big man. Trap unable to get it to go, and back comes Valpo. Yeah, Khalifa will touch the ball almost every possession, whether at the high post, he's a great passer, like you said. Valpo will look to run at every opportunity. They feel they've got an advantage in that area. King, but they've got Khalifa on King, and Kobe King goes right by him. Thought he had contact, no call, and Young pulls down the rebound. Here's Young. Young always looking to attack. Good help defense came at that time. Braswell gives it up. Here's Khalifa, and again, you can see his ability to pass the basketball. He finds Butler for the layup. 29 assists now on the season for the big man. Yeah, and he has a game with seven assists versus Appalachian State earlier this year. He can, just great court vision. Here's King looking to attack. Now Anderson, really starting to shoot the ball well is Trevor Anderson. Kithier gets a touch, he finds Cricky, goes up inside and an early foul on Braswell. And we talk about Khalifa being a great passing big man, Tom, Thomas Kithier, same thing. Absolutely, and Valpo did a great job there. They knew that Charlotte was gonna do what they call fire on a post touch where they double in the post, immediately sent a cutter to the basket and Cricky with a great look. Cricky steps up, knocks down the free throw. Valpo's not shot free throws well. You know, early on in the year, they were up near 75%. You can see down just over 68% now. You assume that number is going to go up as the year goes on. And Kirky steps up, makes both free throws. And 5-2 and some little bit of pressure here from Valpo. Again, that's a little 1-2-2. One, two, two. Haven't seen it from Valpo this year. Yeah, and maybe just to slow down the offense of Charlotte, take some time off the shot clock. You can see they're starting their offense with 19 on the shot clock. Here's Young, now King on him. Valpo switching pretty much with every screen. And actually, they're in a zone right now. Look at this from Valpo. Nearly losing it. Butler nearly lost it and led to a shot clock violation. Trap picked it up, unable to get it off in time. A real good defensive possession. Valpo switching up defenses there. Yeah, and, and if you haven't seen it, and I haven't seen it this year, Charlotte hasn't seen it on film either. So a nice job to put in a little bit of one, two, two, token pressure, falling back into a zone to give Charlotte a different look. Here's Cricky. They get Kobe King a touch. Again, they're, they're doubling the post. Cricky trying to fire that one into Kithier, and he was unable to handle it. So exactly what you talked about, firing the post with a double, and doppel has got to move it inside and out quickly and try to reverse the basketball under those circumstances. Yeah, and Trevor Anderson there just told Cricky, I had a better angle. If you pass it over one more, I had a better angle inside. It's Marvin Cannon who's come in the game and immediately tacks the basket, and twice it's been the passing of Khalifa getting Charlotte downhill to the hoop. Yeah, he's like what they what got reinvented as a point forward, isn't he? The way he distributes the ball. Cannon's free throws in, cuts the lead down to two. He's a transfer from Washington State. Both teams, obviously, and you'll see this throughout the course of the year, more and more, a lot of high major transfers. Yeah, and Charlotte, like you said, certainly bolstered. Some power five transfers in the starting lineup. You see Cannon comes in from Washington State, like you mentioned, so the transfer portal, has been a win for some schools, for sure. Apple races it up to Edwards. They beat pressure. Matt Anderson, a touch from Cricky. Here's King. King looking to attack. 
Cut off, good defense by Charlotte. Now to Anderson, unable to pull the trigger. Backs it out, Edwards, he jumps up a three. That's two threes from the same spot for Sheldon Edwards. Really nice start by Edwards. He's been patient. He's taken threes in rhythm later in the shot clock. That's a great offensive start. Khalifa gives it up. Now to Young. Young through a ball screen. Driving. Cut off. Gets it out to the corner. Good open triple by Trapp. And the lead is back down to two at 8 6. Make sure Butler hit the shot. Pardon me. Kobe King the triple. That's no good. And the rebound pulled down by Trapp. Good start for Butler with five early. He's got it now with Cricky on him. Back cut, Arrow also in for Valpo. Wet spot on the court. Valpo is the deeper team. They will play probably 10. And here's Young, now Kobe King out on Young. Again, Valpo switching everything right now. Khalifa gets a touch. Butler, cut off, out of Young. Again, they want the lefty to go right, which he does. Khalifa will shoot the deep three and knock it in. Only his fifth three of the season. That's a shot that Valpo probably say, okay, we'll give that up. Absolutely, late in the shot clock, he had to get that up. But, but like you mentioned, they have made Jameer Young go right as much as possible, and you can see him not getting to the rim. Missed shot by Kobe King. He's 0 for 3 in the early going. Now Young goes baseline, all the way in underneath, stepped out of bounds, forced out by Kithier. So Diavero at the point now. Kobe King 0 for 3 here in the early going. Get there. Here's King. King waits. Diavero. Get the other screen. Diavero turns the corner. Sheldon Edwards from the corner. That one's short. And a good job by Charlotte thus far on the defensive glass. Apple's been one and done on the missed opportunities. Cannon gets, gets the ball from the middle of this court. Trap. Khalifa. And now Young. Here's Young. Cut off. Cannon. Can we get another Valpo kick? Now Charlotte goes to the bench. Jackson Threadgill is in, sophomore from North Carolina. He had started the first six, hasn't shot the ball well as they would hope. Slow start for both Young and Kobe King. Yeah, just like you would expect of the players you highlight right, in the right. intro. <laughs> Jared Garcia is also in. A real good game against Arkansas earlier in the week. A little back in on Kithier. Tough shot, no good defense from Kithier there. And back comes Diavero. Now Kithier. And took the extra stop. He wanted to go to Kobe King back door. It was shut off. And a Valpo turnover. Yeah, and we mentioned Kobe King with a little bit of a slow start, but you know, keep in mind, last game was his first game back in a year and a half. It's gonna take him a little bit, especially playing against the competition they are today, as opposed to the other night. He's just gonna need to settle in, get used to the pace a little bit. Cricky back in the game. I think you'll see Matt Lodick a lot of times. When Cricky comes back, that's when Kobe King will get a breather. You wanna have one of those two scores out on the court pretty much at all times. Here's Cannon. Young, good defense from Taylor. And they lob. Garcia threw it away. Taylor the loose ball. Out of Gordon. Out high Taylor. Diavero. Diavero threw a screen. Edwards looks to attack. He does. And Sheldon Edwards has eight of Alpo's ten. And he's done it from all over the court. Two threes. Great drive to the basket there. A good ball movement here by Charlotte. Boy, good finish right at the rim and a great start for Austin Butler. Three field goals now and seven points. Butler's the team's second leading scorer. A really nice offensive compliment to Jameer Cricky. Young. And that was a good look for Ben Cricky off good ball movement. And outside of Sheldon Edwards, Valpo without a field goal. 
Cannon. Nearly seven minutes in. Garcia in the post. Back it out, Cannon to Young. Redgill. Now Butler. Butler got Taylor off his feet. Boy, he has been really good today. Such a hard-nosed kid. And he's played very well of late. Averaging 15 and a half and seven. Let's get our first sideline report of the day from Noah Gotzel. This is the eighth time that the Charlotte 49ers and the Valparaiso Beacons have been playing against each other. But this is actually the first time that the Valpo and Charlotte are playing against each other in the arc in the month of December. So far throughout this series, Valpo leads four games to three. And in the arc, there's been two games and the teams have split those one and one. And let's see how this one is going to come out today. There's been a lot of really close games in this series. Valpo went to Charlotte, won a couple times back in the early and mid 2000s. It's been Butler and Edwards picking up the slack here today. This is a really nice non-conference matchup for both teams. Conference USA and Missouri Valley Conference, fairly similar. A nice series for these two teams. Alvo down three. Anderson to Gordon. Now Cricky a touch. Out of the double team, needs help. Had it deflected away, and another Valpo turnover. That's been a problem thus far today. Their third turnover. Yeah, and Cricky can't play so up and down on that that he's off balance, because that's exactly what Charlotte's looking for him to do. A shot there by Cannon. Gordon the rebound. Apple's yet to get anything in transition thus far. Anderson's lost the dribble, throws it out high to Gordon, out of Taylor. Cricky between the circles. To Taylor, thought about a three. Now Gordon. They get Cricky a touch. Cricky backs in on Khalifa, went up and got fouled. It's when they're doubling that Valpo is having a little more trouble. He's got to be able to attack before the double gets there, right? Absolutely, yeah. Go to work quick. Don't wait for the double to get there. If the double comes, then you got to kick it back out. Cricky's three for three from the line. Now the lead is down to one. And Apple will apply some pressure. Trap now will walk it up. Young out of the game for Charlotte. Here's Khalifa, this is where he's great, facing up and passing the basketball. Vasek, who's just checked in. Hand in between the circles. Khalifa. Again, shot clock winding down and a travel. And a good defensive possession by Valpo. An opportunity to take the lead. Braswell's coming back in. And Young, after a quick breather, is coming back in as well. And again, this is the lineup where, again, you're going to want to get Cricky at least to touch pretty much every possession with this lineup. Absolutely. The offense has to flow through him for a while. Obviously, he's the best scorer on the court. Anderson. Now they do get Cricky a touch. They fake the handoff, start to work on Khalifa. Cut off, good defense here. Taylor, a pretty good look, but off the mark. Young walks it up. Charlotte the lead in the ball. Nothing really coming easy for either team offensively through the first nine minutes. Vasek, a lot of long possessions for Charlotte. They got Young a touch. Oh, great backdoor cut. Vasek nearly lost it though, and he did. My missed opportunity, great feed from Young. And Vasek, the 6'8 Serb, had it. Eyes got real big and lost it. Probably their best look of the day too. But you know, both teams are doing a great job on the defensive boards too. Each possession is one and done, no offensive rebounds for either team. They clear out for Trevor Anderson. He's got to throw it back high to Taylor. Taylor on the move, now Cricky. No, unable to knock down the deep one. And Apple two of six from three. Trap. Relief nope, nope, of the touch. Out of trap. Trap probes and floats. And Khalifa knocks it out of bounds. It was a nice job on the ball screen defense there by Ben Cricky. If you saw him just slowly back up, he never left the ball handler until he was sure Trevor Anderson was back. 
but he didn't give a lane to pass to the roller too, so really nice defense. And both teams really have clamped down defensively. No easy looks. Taylor thought about a three. Gordon to Anderson. And shot clock approaches 10. Good drive by Trevor Anderson, but he can't get the finish. And back comes Young. We're stuck at 13-12. Young, a deep pull-up, and he knocks it in. His first basket. What do they say, you can't keep a good man down or something like that? Uh, Jameer Young. Comes in averaging nearly 19 a game. Takes him about 10 minutes to get on the board, and his Charlotte team is up four. Gordon, tricky, thought about a three. Starts to work, has got to back it out. Anderson on the drive. Gordon gets a good look, but that's well off the mark. And the rebound a trap. Trap cut off. Braswell for three. A well deep. And a bad pass. And that's going to get Sheldon Edwards back in this game. Kobe King as well. Again, King, King and Edwards came out. Valpo really struggled offensively. Exactly. This lineup is really going to change the shape of what Valpo does offensively. Both players got a nice breather. And again, now you see Kithier in the well, game as well. Say, I was say, King comes back in, and that's where Matt Lodick will allow Cricket to get a breather. And obviously with Khalifa out of the game, who's a bit taller, it, it gives Valpo a better matchup defensively as well. Garcia to Young. Edwards on Young. As well. Trap gives it up. Butler gets a touch. Butler starts to back down. Shot clock's winding down. Does he recognize it? He's got to throw it back out. Another long possession for Charlotte. Up has been so good defensively for the most part. They're struggling to put the ball in the basket, and they're down four. That was textbook half-court defense. And you know, both of these teams are really trying to run pack line defense. And that's sort of mucked things up for both of them offensively. Edwards. Three threes for Sheldon Edwards. He has the only Valpo field goal in the that's, down to that's one. That's one thing the pack line's susceptible to, a hot shooter. Trap gives it up. Garcia hands back to Trap. And a touch inside, Garcia unable to finish. And Kithier the rebound, and Valpo looks for the lead. Anderson trying to probe. Taylor, well, he is just off right now. And Young walks it up. Young on the move. He attacks and misses the shot. And Valpo has numbers now. Kobe King in the open court. And he gets hammered. Like what's USA? Let's see if the recruitment pays off today for Charlotte. He's done a great job. Longtime Tony Bennett disciple. Worked for both at Washington State and at Virginia. Kobe King makes both free throws. We're tied at 16. Trap with King on him. See Valpo switching at all opportunities. Young gives it up. Butler, beautiful spin move. Boy, is he playing well. And Austin Butler in double figures. He's playing with a lot of confidence. The last few games, he's been really big for Charlotte. Kobe King on the attack, unable to finish. By Valpo, you look at Valpo. Edwards is four of five. The rest of the team is, team is 0 for 10. And they're down just two. It's really been Butler, and Butler's four for four, and the rest of the Charlotte team is two of seven. Yeah, both of these teams, well, they're playing good defense is really what the thing is. Their offense isn't getting a ton of good looks, so they're playing good defense. Edwards. Now King with the shot clock down to five, and Kobe King's going to have to attack. Gets to the middle of the court, fades, and scores. And that's what he can do. Going to make sure he got it off in time, I think Gary Maxwell says. And Kobe King was signaling it's good, but for a different reason, because he thought he got hit on his hand on that shot. 
So they're going to review this. It appeared like he certainly got it off, right? Yes, I, I would have said he did in real time. See the veteran official and heads up from Colby King. So tied at 18 now. Ryan knocked away by Kithier. Boy, and that's one way to disrupt the Princeton offense is don't let that first pass get through. And they gave Young some room, and he took advantage, and Charlotte by three. Here's Edwards. Kithier fakes the handoff. Out of Taylor. Lobbing for Kithier. Well done. Nice good, slip by Kithier. Yes, and good patience there. Valpo didn't use the first ball screen. They waited to get a second ball screen set. And you can't run, you can't keep running switch and high hedge defense off of a lot of ball screens. Trap. One point lead for the 49ers. Now Young who's hit two threes. They funnel him underneath the hoop, and a good job by Kevion Taylor deflecting it off of Austin Butler, and Valpo gets it back with a chance for the lead. Cricket getting a nice rest right now. Charlotte has led most of this half. Valpo an opportunity to get over the top here. It's King attacking and hanging, and that won't go. And boy, it feels like there's a lid on the basket right now for Kobe King. But he's got a, been, been a lot of nice drives to the basket, been some contact on a few of them. So you like what you see out of his shot selection. Great back cut and Young, this time at the hoop. And Charlotte back up by three. And I tell you, if you just blink on defense, Khalifa's gonna needle a pass through there. Great cut by Young. Taylor thought about it. Now to Edwards. Edwards on the attack. Oh, Khalifa got right there. Kithier gets right in there and takes it away. Wild shot though. King saves it. Shot clock's down. Anderson gets it off and knocks it in. Boy, we had a wild scramble and it led to a Trevor Anderson three and we're tied up at 23. I'm not sure that's just how they drew it up, no. but a great finished by Trevor Anderson. Here's Young. They did a nice job stepping around the ball screen, but he can't connect the open shot. Anderson on the run to King. Thought about it. Gets Taylor a look off the pump fake, and that one rattles out. But we've seen it from both ends of the court. Shots rattling in and out. We're tied at 23. Now it's King on Young. Cannon to Butler. Young with just over three and a half to go in the half. Khalifa found the open man. That shot off the mark, and Kithier goes down to grab it. Anderson thought about the three, but good recovery by Cannon. Edwards has Khalifa on him. Anderson back to Edwards. And that one's off the mark. And we remain tied. Young, and they'll reset. Butler gives it up. Redgill. Shot clock at 15. Now Young throws the corner and Cannon. Trying to drive on Kithier. A good defense by Kithier. Young though has it on the pull up and it rattles in and out. Now Alexis, let's call a timeout here. Let's settle things down. Rimming out both ways. Edwards getting a breather right now for Valpo. Cricky gets a touch, turned away. Boy, great defense and there's Young. Who gets fouled going for the dunk. A great defensive set by Charlotte, and it leads to a turnover. Well, they've done a nice job on Ben Cricky right now. Yeah, and Cricky just has to know that double's coming, and, and the last two times he's tried to pass out of it, 
He's been standing straight up and he ends up off balance. He's got to be solid in that double and find an open player to pass to. Two free throws coming up for Young with 2.05 to go in the half. And Charlotte's now in front. He's been nip and tuck throughout. Charlotte now four out of five from the line. Doppel's made all six of their free throws. And Young after the slow start, he hits double figures with 2.05 to go in the half. Charlotte by two. Taylor. Now Anderson. Taylor to Anderson. He's cut off. A great defense again by Charlotte. Napo gets Cricky a touch. Double not there yet, so he goes to attack. Good defense by Khalifa. Better offense by Cricky. Really good determination there by Cricky. Used a, a plethora of moves to just get Khalifa off balance. Butler, out of cannon. Khalifa hands it off to Young. Young attacking and finishing. And it's Young who's gotten the offense going for Charlotte. And he keeps him in front now, 27-25. Anderson probes, and he missed the shot. Butler the rebound. Comfortable spot for Trevor Anderson, but unable to knock it down. Yeah, and a nice look. They'll take an open mid-range jump shot off of a ball screen from Trevor Anderson all the time. Here's Young. Butler attacks all the way in underneath. Faking's gonna throw it out to Khalifa, and he hit another one. Two threes, huge bonus from Khalifa. And Charlotte by five. Ricky attacking. Now it's King. Got to a good spot and got fouled. Somebody before Cannon got all ball up top. And Colby King will get two free throws. And I think that's what Kobe King's really trying to do. When he's one-on-one -on -one with a wing defender, he thinks he can get by and get to the rim. And he's done a pretty good job. He just hasn't finished. Valpo remains perfect from the line. Edwards and Kithy are back in for this final possession of the half. And a lot of getting his best defenders out there for this final 16 seconds. Wants to put Edwards on Young to close the half. It's King four for four from the line. Trap turned away. Charlotte's hold for the final shot to assure the lead into the locker room. There's Young, now Gordon on him. Young had a poke free. There's two seconds left. Kobe King tries to get it off. And they're gonna see who did get going late first half. High score in the game with 12. We're underway with Young. Guarded by Edwards. Out of Butler. Here's Young. Trap. Shut off baseline by King. Trap backs him down. Faking goes up. No good defense from Kobe King. And Kithier grabs his fifth rebound of the game. King. Here comes the double. Kithier finds Edwards, who attacks. Boy, great defense, and Braswell gets in there. Double moved the ball well, but never got a shot. Butler to Braswell. It won't go, and Edwards the rebound. Matt Lodick wants his team to push, but the numbers just simply aren't there. Kithier did a nice job last possession knowing the double was coming. He got out of the double before it could get there. That's what I'd like to see Ben Cricky do as well on the post. Anderson, a good look off the offensive rebound. And we're gonna get a foul on Valpo. Kithier gave Valpo an extra possession. Trevor Anderson missed two shots there. That has been the case. Outside of the shooting of Sheldon Edwards, nobody else for Valpo put the ball in the basket. No, and two good looks there by Trevor Anderson as well. Charlotte keeps their three-point lead. Khalifa. Back cut. 
But all Butler could do is throw it off Cricky. Didn't field it cleanly. But does do a good job to keep the possession alive. Here we go, Ben. Trap will trigger. It has really been a defensive battle for 21 plus minutes with two talented offensive teams. Boy, great job, but moving and getting free was Butler and a five point lead for Charlotte. This becomes a big possession now for Valpo. Butler now with 12 and he's starting off the second half just like he did the first half. Ricky to Kithier, great ball movement. Valpo needs more of that. That was absolutely textbook offense there. You saw the touch pass big to big before the double could get there. Great cut, great find. And then Kithier on the other end. King attacking. Tries to power it up and Khalifa does a great job. And now a run out for Young. And a good foul by Anderson. Uh, Kobe King, you can see visibly frustrated right now. Kithier made the steal, but Khalifa at 6'11", and did not allow King to get a look. So Young to the line. And Khalifa's almost deceptive with how tall and long he is. Because he's a good passer, because on offense he plays away from the basket, you almost forget what a good rim protector option he is as well. And he's hit two threes in the game. He has been as important a piece as anybody in this game today. Young a chance to push the lead back to five, he does. And Young now with 14, the lead five. And again, it becomes a big possession for Valpo. Valpo moves it around, but Charlotte recovering well. And Edwards has to jump one up. Not great offense that time from Valpo. No, and you're gonna see Valpo, they continue to slip screens because of the high hedge on the ball screen, but they're not able to find anything out of that right now. Butler, beautiful spin and up and under. Now he missed two, but not the third. They don't even need him right now because Young and uh, Butler carrying the way and their defense is carrying the way. Valpo held to 29 points through the first 23 minutes and a bad turnover right there. A turnover out of a timeout is, it just has to be a coach's absolute nightmare. Khalifa, out of Young. Khalifa gets a touch. Tries to back down on Cricky and get the earth and a great job by Trevor Anderson to sneak in and get the steal and attack. Kevin Taylor gets a wide open look. A great job by Kithier, and Kobe King is open and knocks it in. But Kithier's done a great job all game long keeping balls alive. Great job, just extra possession for Valpo, nice in rhythm, jump shot for King. Maybe something that'll get him going offensively here in the second half. Valpo going with the smaller lineup, Cricky on the bench trying to get stops. Maswell gives it up. Now it's Taylor on Butler to Young. Young trying to drive on Edwards. Came in all the way underneath. Brought it back out. Tough shot. No. The rebound though by Butler. And he keeps it alive. It was great defense by Edwards, but Valpo unable to grab a defensive glass. Khalifa. Braswell a good look. And he buries it. Yeah, and that was set up by a great look by Khalifa. What looked like he was going to take the ball to the basket. Found an open shooter instead in Braswell. And Bradwell, Braswell, their best pure shooter. Edwards. And that won't go. And Charlotte in great shape right now. Up eight, and Valpo really struggling offensively. Khalifa. Makes the pass, Braswell, two in a row. He's their best pure spot-up shooter. Yeah, and sometimes it takes one good open look to really, your eyes start to get big, the basket gets a little bigger. They're gonna have to find him quick. Very important for Valpo not to panic. They gotta start making shots. Edwards, they need it. Wow, was that needed. Third three for Sheldon Edwards. 
Almost, almost like that keeps them alive. Absolutely. They were afraid of getting blown out here. They're not getting stops. And you know, Sheldon Edwards has really been doing it on both ends. And that one off the. Anybody on this squad. All right, Cricky back in the game for Valpo. Let's see if he can get going. Edwards, Cricky a touch. Now to King. King not free. Here's Taylor. Now King the triple, and that's no good. And Valpo's four of 16. Shell Edwards has three. The rest of his teammates are one of nine from beyond the arc. Garcia and a reach in foul on Cricky. What a frustrating day for Ben Cricky. Not only just one field goal, but he's struggled on the defensive end. And, and, and he doesn't have a rebound today either. It's just, it's just been hard for him to get involved. Absolutely. But still, 14 minutes to go, and he can turn it on at any time. Treadgill, Garcia. Go! Garcia starts to back down Cricky, and he's going to call for another reach and foul. So he's picked up two in a hurry. He's up to three fouls now with 13.44 to go. Kithier's going to come back in. And he keeps trying to reach and poke it away. And, and the officials are not allowing it, that right now. They didn't now. like it. Yeah, something about that the officials didn't like. Brad Gill hands it off. Trap pass deflected, and Kithier's right there. Edwards looking to attack to King. Powers it up and gets fouled, and Kobe King, as Valpo was trying to do, get out in transition to get him going. Yeah, and you can just look at Kobe King's face. He's faced a lot of contact all game, and here you can see again, body and arm. He's gotta keep going strong to the basket like that, though. So Valpo's starting to work their way back in it. Trap the 11 point lead down to seven. King is five for five from the line. Jimmy looked up a four of 16 from beyond the arc. Edwards has hit three. The rest of the team, one for nine. And Matt Lassen to say, let's give Connor Barrett a chance right now. Yeah, absolutely. The lane has been really clogged up most of the day. So three point looks are what Charlotte is willing to give up. Yes. And so, yeah, let's see if Connor Barrett can start to feel it from the outside. Here's Butler. First appearance of Connor Barrett this afternoon. Garcia gives it up to Butler. Now they've got King on Butler with this lineup. Garcia to Butler. Kithier picks him up. A good defense from Kithier. Better offense from Austin Butler. Why having a game? That was a big shot after Valpo got it down to six. Off yeah, good and, with, and with a taller, yes, exactly. Defender on him as well. King, Edwards. Now King doesn't take the three. They reset. Kithier's coming down the lane. Right, it's been a real solid afternoon for Kithier. No, I like I like that out of Valpo's offense, bringing Kithier away from the basket and letting him get to the rim on these true post defenders from Charlotte. Garcia. Back down Kithier. A good defense. Again, good defense by Kithier. That's been a constant theme. Anderson. Oh, he couldn't finish. And that's also been the theme. Valpo just missing shots. Good looks. They're doing so many things right that they can't finish off. Butler backs it out the trap. Under 12 to go. Trap will try to take Barrett. Can't do it. Tries it again. Barrett goes down. Good defensive help by Kithier in the rebound. Now King. And it's a two point attack. Now Khalifa, and he traveled with the basketball. But Butler's kind of a dirty work guy, but he also can score. Kithier's got a lot of similarities to that. Yeah, if you looked at just the stat sheet from this game, you wouldn't realize 
just how much Kithier has influenced this game. And Thomas Kithier has done it on both ends. He's been great. He's got a touch right now. Out to Barrett. Anderson. Unable to attack. Shot clock at 10. Here comes King attacking. And he lost his footing. And then to just throw it up. And a good, good job by Edwards stopping transition. And we are again at a uh, foul on Valpo on the pass off. Let's get a quick report from Noah. Right, that ball actually looked like a break for Charlotte. Boy, boy, may have slipped out of Young's hands. We'll get to Noah in a moment. Young inbound. Up up to five team fouls here in the half. Young. Khalifa to Young, back to Khalifa. Beautiful give and go. Valpo can't let that screen and roll happen to the left because then they're in big trouble. When Jameer Young gets the ball going left, all eyes have to be on him, and that's why he's able to get that pass and roll, pick and roll, dump down to Khalifa. So we'll lead back to six. Kithier to Barrett. Not free, and oh, that was a bad pass. No chance to get that one in. Young lobbing, and there's Edwards, and now Valpo's got numbers. Three on two, it's Anderson wide open, and he knocks it in. Great decision by Trevor Anderson to fan out. And great job by Sheldon Edwards. I wouldn't recommend throwing a lob when he's involved, because he can jump out of the gym, and great job on the three on two to find your best percentage three-point shooter. Khalifa, oh, he did it again. Well, he come in with four threes, and he's made three today, and that was a monster shot. Six-point lead, they come right back with the triple. Now Kithier, Edwards, Anderson. Edwards attacking. Oh, and a great defensive play by Cannon, and it's going to be out to Valpo with eight on the shot clock. Matt Lodick really shortening the rotation. Edwards and Kithier and Anderson and King all barely leaving the court right now for Valpo. Yeah, and Valpo made a little run, and he just must let him be playing through this offensive rhythm they've found a bit. Anderson with the left hand. Two big baskets by Trevor Anderson. This one going to the hoop. And Valpo back to within four. Anderson's game is so polished. You can just tell he's a, he's a senior, a veteran. He knows he picks his moments when he can score. Big shot from Young. And he answers as Edwards got lost in the screen. And Charlotte keeps making plays. But they have had the answer at all times. What well, great feed, and again, it's Edwards to King. Khalifa, and so Valpo is going to have a bit of an advantage in the post. We'll see if they use Kithier on the block. Here's Young with Edwards on him. Braswell to Young. They forced him to go right, so he reverses footing. Now he gets the ball inside to Vasek, and he's turned away, and again, it's Kithier's defense not getting beat. It's a big offensive opportunity for Valpo here. Down five, a made basket cuts this thing to two or three. Just to get it down to a one possession game. King, Tax, Taylor to Anderson. Back out high, Taylor. He's attacking, good strong move. Unable to finish though. And a frustrating offensive afternoon for Kevion Taylor, who's now 0 for 5. Good attack, but unable to finish. Young able to get left on Edwards and finish. How talented is Jameer Young. He's so good, and, and I want to praise Sheldon Edwards' defensive effort. And you look down, and he's got 19 points, and I think Sheldon's played good defense. Taylor. Finally, a sigh of relief from Kevion Taylor, and that was a monster shot. It's a big shot just that he took it. The way that, you know, he hasn't had anything go for him tonight, that was a big spot. Good for Kevion Taylor. 
Massick. Young. Oh, man, what a performance by Jameer Young. 22 for Young. And Charlotte back to a seven-point game. Every time Alba makes a big shot, Charlotte answers. Trevor Anderson on the attack. He's up to double figures. And a lot of screams, hey, let's get a stop. Just willing his team to get one stop and score. Cannon. Vasek. Here comes Young. They force the ball out of his hands. And that shot is off the mark, and that's what you needed to do. Anderson. Edwards. Anderson to Kithier, and he ran into traffic. Butler was the one there. And now Butler. There's some guys playing huge minutes. Young, Butler, Anderson. They've all played really big minutes in this game. Yeah, and you can see it starting to wear on their faces a little bit, especially the up and down, and how hard they've had to play on the defensive end, both teams. Cannon went down, scrambles, saves it to Vasek. Braswell's gonna get an open three, and he buries it. And that has been the story all day long. Charlotte has answered at every single call, and they lead it 60 to 52. And the third three out of Braswell too, so they're getting some, some people to step up and make shots that haven't in other games. Kobe King will get two free throws, and again, it was a good delivery by Kithier who really could use a breather. You can see him huffing and puffing. So two foul shots coming here for... A little confusion here. That 8.30 was the media timeout. When that timeout was called, exactly 8.30 was the media. Both teams actually kind of confused on this. It's actually Anderson shooting the two free throws. Charlotte has just answered with big shot after big shot. Anderson makes the free throw. Gordon's going to give Kobe King a breather, try to get him under four minutes here. One more free throw for Trevor Anderson with 5.22 to go. And it's down to six. One last try, let's get to Noah. Charlotte all season long has been great in the first half, outscoring their opponents by a total of 18 points so far this season. But in the second half, they have been outscored by a total of 57. They're outscoring Valpo in the second half so far today. Let's see if they can keep it up. They're up six with 5.10 to go. Every possession crucial now. Here's Young. They do force him to go right. Good defense there. Now Khalifa nearly walked. Shot clock's down to six. Young, ball goes to the corner. Braswell just got to throw it up. Gordon the rebound. And now Taylor. Here's Excellent Gordon. defense by Velpo. They had to have a stop in the half court, and they delivered. Edwards, they get Cricky a touch. Goes up over Khalifa, and Ben Cricky well rested. He may have a lot down the tank here. He's cut it to four with 4.30 to go. Yep, it'll be interesting to watch Cricky the last four and a half minutes here, and if Falpo can keep getting buckets from him inside. Khalifa faces up. Now Butler. Butler tries to back down Gordon. He does beat him and miss the shot, but there he is again to get it back, and then he gets fouled. Quite relentless is Austin Butler. His fourth offensive rebound of the day, and most of them have come off his own misses, but he's playing harder than people under the basket to get those rebounds right now. Two big foul shots, 72%. He's one of two in this, on this day. and he's able to get the friendly roll. Up to 17 for Butler. He's been really hot offensive player of late. Last three ball games, he's averaging 16. And he's able to knock down two big free throws there. Right, 
And he's a rebound shy of a double-double on the day, which is just a testament to how well he's played. Under four to go, Valpo down six. Kevion Taylor, big shot! Boy, he's hit two monster threes, and Valpo's to within three with 3.45 to go. Now you hear the noise picking up a little bit from the home crowd. Cannon. Butler. Out of Young. Can Valpo get a stop with Young with the ball in his hands? It goes to Khalifa. Khalifa's pass knocked away by Taylor. Who saves it? Anderson for the tie. No. It's a shot Valpo doesn't mind. Trevor Anderson's hit two big threes in this game and felt he had a good look. I think the roof was coming off if he hit that one, Todd free throws they called that foul on Ben Cricky so he has four fouls now so something to keep in mind you know and that, that might be waiting for Kobe King you know to be able to come in and replace there as well so cricky has got to be really mindful on the defensive end here with four. Shot clock's at seven Young has picked up the dribble Khalifa I don't think he got it off a great defensive set by Valpo Trevor Anderson's played every minute here in this second half. He's played all but three minutes in the game. He's got it right now. Taylor, he's hit two big threes down the stretch. Gordon to Edwards. Shot clock at 12. Anderson, Edwards, this will tie it up and Sheldon Edwards as he's so prone to do, makes a big shot down the stretch. We're tied at 62. Sheldon Edwards has been so good today. He's hit so many big shots for Valpo. And standing out of bounds, Redgill turns it over. Gordon, Valpo looks for the lead. Taylor. Edwards. Now Taylor for the lead. And it's short with 140 to go. Now Young. Khalifa. Cannon with it. Under 90 to go. Butler tries to back down Gordon. Gordon right there. Tough shot won't go, and Anderson the rebound with 1.15 left. Anderson through the ball screen. Gordon. Taylor coming down the lane. Goes up, and he'll get two free throws with a minute on the clock. Great body control and patience there by Kevion Taylor. Knows he's getting guys up in the air. Might have got fouled by both of them. Great job by Kevion Taylor. Get the earth the scorer's table. Nick trying to play this defense and offense. Taylor has not shot free throws great for Valpo, but he's been a great free throw shooter in his career. And he knocks this one down, and Valpo finally over the top has taken the lead. And Kithier really needed that break. It's nice that he was able to get his legs, and so he's a little bit fresh for this last minute of defense. Chance to give Valpo a two-point lead, Kevion Taylor. And he does. Boys, he come up big down the stretch. Eight down the stretch for Taylor, and Valpo has come all the way over the top to take a two-point lead. I'm surprised we haven't seen Kobe King, but Valpo's riding an 8-0 run, so I think Coach Loddick is sticking with it. And what a move by Young with 49 seconds left. Matt Lodick, uh, maybe use a timeout to get Cricky back in the game, but not the case. 40 seconds to go. Taylor. Now it's Gordon. Sheldon Edwards. 
Shot clock's at 10. He gets Kithier the ball. He kicks to Taylor. He drives it underneath. He's caught. He threw it away. And they've got a run out. It's Young to the basket. He scores. And they can get people going to the basket and get the bigs away from the rim. Let's see what Matt Lodick has set up. Kithier to Anderson. Anderson tries to turn the corner. He gets a good look. It's short, though. Rebound. It's Kevy on Taylor. Oh, and there was no foul with three. Kithier to throw this ball, but you need four points in three seconds. And it's deflected. And Kobe King's gonna shoot from 70 feet. And